Hello everyone and welcome back to Marvel Champions. I couldn't let it lie, I hated that I lost. So I'm recording this before the viewer verdict has gone up. I don't know how well or badly it will be received, but I want to try again to defeat Rhino and not mess up and just get obliterated. I feel like the mistake I made upon looking back while editing, etc. I think I rushed them to the second stage too soon. I should have had some more upgrades or allies back out before I tackled that because of what happens when he comes out like that. And... As I'm sure people who are familiar with the game pointed out, I completely forgot to ever resolve Spider-Sense on Peter's hero side, which is if you get attacked, you draw a card. That is a pretty big thing, having extra cards, or it could have been a defense card, or just you know something that would let me play other things. So that was a pretty big thing to forget. As far as forgetting things, I think that was the only thing. I'll get proven wrong in the comments, I'm sure, but I think that was the major thing, let's say. Uh, the rest of it was just tactics. I got Rhino to second for him too soon before I was ready for him. So I'm going to learn from that this time. If you want more in-depth details about what we're doing here, go watch the viewer verdict and that's also where you should cast your vote as to whether or not you want to see more or less in the future. Either way, I'm trying again to defeat Rhino as Spider-Man. 10 health, 14 health in his phase 1 form. I'm going to drop some cards and be back. This video is sponsored by Noble Knight Games. Check out the video description below for an affiliate link that will take you through to their store and it will help me out as well. Thanks. So this is my initial hand and we have two interrogation rooms so I'm going to mulligan one of those but I think we can keep everything else. We have Blank Hack, Nick Fury, Backflip which I just love and the Strength card which is just two of the Strength resource. So yeah, I'm going to mulligan that. It goes into this card if we just draw another one. I thought it was the same card there for a second. Surveillance team is also really good. So yeah, we're set up to do a pretty decent turn one, I feel. And on that note, I think we should just get started. Um, so, it doesn't start with any threat on it, which is one thing I did wrong last time, because that's just when it accelerates, it gets plus one extra per player. So we're going straight to, I'm definitely holding on to the backflip card. I'm going to use the strength card to play Black Cat into play. And she has a special rod. I don't think we saw her last time, did we? Or we didn't get a chance to play her. After you play Black Cat, discard the top two cards of your deck. Add each card printed with a genius resource discarded this way to your hand. So we'll put her out into play. First one. Nope. Oh. Second one. Oh yes, and it's two. That's really good. Okay, well in that case, let's see what else we can do. We could absolutely put Nick Fury out, or we could put out a surveillance team and just keep threat... Um, down because you can remove threat from schemes with that. If we get Nick Fury out we can use him to eat the first attack as well, that's the other thing. Uh, let's see, two, three, four, it would take the whole hand. No, I'm going to hold on to Nick for now. Let's use that genius to play surveillance team. It gets three counters on it. Uh, here we are, three. And I think I'm just going to keep these. Yeah, I'm going to keep these. So let me just go to our actual activating and such. Uh, we will tap Black Cat to do one damage to Rhino, because why not? And we will turn into hero form and attack with Peter to do two damage to Rhino. Now I know I said I'd not switch him to phase two fast, but I can still get his health down while I've got a good turn one. And that's it. So ready up, draw back up to hand size, which is five. So two more cards. We've got Mockingbird and we have Tenacity, which I didn't use last time. We might be about to use our backflip. So I'm in hero form. So Rhino is attacking and I'm probably going to use the backflip. He's hitting for two plus nothing. <laughs> so that's just two damage. Um, you know, I'm just going to block that actually. We'll just block it, so no damage. And then, encounter card resolved. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, we're getting the breaking and taking early, but that means it won't proc when he changes form then, because it will be in play. When revealed, place an additional one threat per player here, so there's going to be three on it. Oh, I forgot the first step to put one on there as well, of course. Let me just move that up. So there's three on it, and one on this. That is not the threat icons, that is the damage icons. Three and one. Hazard Icon. Deal plus one encounter card during the villain phase. Now I presume that applies from the next one on, which may have been something I did wrong, because I immediately applied that effect. 
but that's not part of the when revealed. The when revealed is up here. So I presume this is just in general, and that is something else I did wrong. If that's wrong, I haven't seen the comments at this point, so I don't know. But yeah, I think that we'll, we'll count it that way this time. And I'm glad that came out early, actually. So let's see what we can do in my new turn. All right, I've looked at my options. By the way, when Black Cat attacks, she does not take any damage back. She doesn't have that symbol below there. That's why I didn't put damage on there. Uh, I am going to get rid of Nick Fury, Interrogate, and Tenacity to pay the energy cost to play Mockingbird, just to get her out there, I think. So those three cards gone. I'm still holding on to that backflip to defend against an attack. Also, I double-checked the wording on Rhino 2. It searched the deck or the discard pile. So if I clear this, it will be coming back, which is annoying. But if I don't clear it, then I'm having to deal with two encounter cards per turn, which is really bad. Anyway, Mockingbird comes out when she is revealed. She stuns an enemy. Uh, oh no, I forgot to look at the status cards. There we are. Stunned. So that skips Rhino attacking me at the very least. Get stunned. So, I can't do anything because I defended this turn. Uh, let's see. We'll tap... Surveillance team to remove one threat on breaking and taking Because now that I realize it's just going to come out later I might as well get rid of it and I think we'll tap Black Cat and Mockingbird to get rid of the other two threat We'll, we'll thwart with both of them. Unfortunately, that means they both take one damage But that immediately clears us until such time as we get to Rhino Phase 2 when it's going to pop right back up annoyingly, so Discard that and then we go into the attack phase. Oh, well, after writing everybody, I didn't tap those, but either way, and we're drawing four, two, three, four. And I have webbed up another backflip, Avengers Mansion and First Aid. So we didn't see Avengers Mansion last time either. And it's expensive to get out, but once it's out, it's just a nice buff to constantly be able to tap once per turn. Uh, so, anyway... He tries to attack, he's stunned, stun goes away, encounter card gets resolved on me. I'm tough, give Rhino a tough status card, if he already had one, draw another one. He did not, so he will become tough, which means he's taking a free hit, which is annoying. But it could absolutely be worse. So once again, I forgot that part of the villain phase, I will forever do that. Anyway, my turn, I'm tapping surveillance team. It's got one use left on it to get rid of that threat I just put on. I am going to convert to Peter Parker for this round and I'm going to tap him which means generate a genius resource for this turn. So it gives me one resource and that's because I want to play a four cost card but I want to keep a backflip in my hand. So that's the way it's going to have to be. So which one do I want to play? Webbed up to kind of buy me a couple of turns or Avengers Mansion? to draw more cards per turn. And I think in the long term Avengers Mansion is going to be more useful when we have allies out to take hits for us. So Peter generated one resource, there's three others. It is a bit risky, but we're playing Avengers Mansion. So max one per player, you can exhaust it to choose a player and they draw a card. I'm obviously going to do that immediately and draw a card. And we've got web shooters which we can play for one. They have three counters on them, and when you use them, it generates a wild card resource. Also a good upgrade to just have in general. So Peter won't be protecting anyone this turn, so that means Rhino is going to be scheming because there's no hero to attack. I don't think you can force them to attack an ally. They can just take hits for you if you're being attacked. So for Black Cat and Mockingbird's turn, we are going to thwart with Mockingbird, so she's going to unfortunately take one more damage, but remove that threat. And Black Cat, we're going to have her attack, because she doesn't have any reprisal. She doesn't take damage for attacking, so that puts Rhino... Oh, that doesn't put Rhino down to ten, sorry, no, it takes away his tough, which is also good. That is my turn, I'm going to keep the web shooter in the backflip in my hand, so we ready, 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 and we draw four cards, because we're on Peter's side. Helicarrier, Enhanced Spider Sense, Great Responsibility, and Heroic Intuition. So four, five, six, yep. Because we get six cards when he's on that side. Okay, and that's my turn. So villain turn. One threat. However, the villain is scheming. So one plus two. 
So that is three threat on the break in for a total of four. And then an encounter card against Peter. It's a Hydro Bomber minion. When revealed, choose to either take two damage or place one threat on the main scheme. I will place one threat on the main scheme because we're going to do a massive thwart turn this next round, I think. The Hydro Bomber has one scheme, one attack, two health, and. Oh, I think he gets to. Wait, I think he gets to scheme when he appears because they get to do an action, but he can't attack me right now because I'm not in hero form. Uh, in that case. In that case, I'll take the damage instead, because I think he does get to do that. So we'll take two damage down to eight health. And two. Fair enough. So yeah, we definitely need to deal with that thwart now. So let's get started, shall we? We're tapping Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Power of Justice. Good, okay. We're using the last use on that surveillance team. It's discarded. That takes away one threat. Still definitely going to have to deal with the rest of the threat, but we'll come to that in time. Let's see, what can we do? What does the Helicarrier do? Choose a player, reduce the resource cost of the next card played by one. Eh, that's not bad, I suppose. And the Power of Justice will count as two if we're playing a yellow card, so let's do that. It counts as two if we're playing a yellow card. That means we can upgrade with Tenacity, or sorry, Heroic Intuition, rather which just gives us plus one thwart. On that note, we're definitely being a hero this turn. And that gives Peter two thwart. So what else are we doing? What's Enhanced Spider? Oh, it cancels Treachery cards. That's pretty good as well. I'm going to get rid of the Helicarrier. Use that to spend on the Web Shooter upgrade, which we just discussed. It gets three tokens on it. And you can tap it to get a wild card resource, which is just a resource you can use that counts as whatever type you like, which might be useful. On that note, I don't think there's anything else I can do with my hand, really. I want to, I'll probably end up using Enhanced Spider Sense during the villain turn. So, it's just down to what is the most efficient way to use what I have available now to get that thwart down, but also maybe take out that Hydra guy. If I attack him with Peer, it gets rid of him. If I do that... I'll have to get rid of Mockingbird to lower that threat a little bit. Felicia can't really because she's only got two health, so if she thwarts, she's going to take one damage and get out like that. I'd rather her take a hit for me to get rid of her. Um, the Hydro Bomber doesn't have Retaliate, which is a rule where they hit you back for one damage. So... Hmm... Uh, let's, we'll have Peter take out the Bomber. So he attacks, 2 damage, that's all the damage he has. We will have Mockingbird thwart for 1, that means she goes into the discard pile. This goes away. I still want it lower though. Although, no he's attacking me this turn so it's, not, it's only going to go up by 1. So I think we can hold off and we'll just have Felicia attack him. Which again doesn't hurt her so that takes him down to 10. And we'll call that good, I have 3 in my hand so I draw 2. Ooh, double energy and haymaker. Good chance to deal damage. That would have been perfect to have to take out the Hydra bomber, but whatever. So we'll just quickly do the villain turn then without doing a pause. Uh, technically untap everything. Done, done, done. One threat on main scheme. Four, five. He's attacking me for two plus one. He's attacking me for three. And this I am going to backflip. So backflip, no damage. Then card. If it's a treachery card, I'm going to pay to make it do nothing as well. It is a treachery card. It would mean he attacks me. So we're just going to play that great responsibility for paying the resource of one to play Enhanced Spider Sense. It means the when revealed effects of the treachery card don't apply. So we'll just zero out that turn essentially except for the one threat on there, which is hopefully what we're about to deal with, although now my hand size is uh, <laughs> a little small. So, I will tap Avengers Mansion, draw a card. Power of Justice, just good to hold on to, basically. Uh, let's see, there's nothing really I need to do with the web shooters, so I'm just going to hold on to that for now. We're definitely going to be attacking with Felicia for one. So I think this is a thwart turn for Peter. So we're going to thwart, his normal thwart is only one, but because of that heroic intuition, he gets plus one, so we take two off of that, which makes me feel a bit better about it. We're then going to spend... 
the double energy card to do a haymaker. Hero action, deal three damage to an enemy. So that's Peter basically getting two things done. And it's three damage, which isn't bad. Puts Rhino's first form down to seven remaining. And did I already do Felicia's damage? I didn't, did I? She's hitting for one as well, so that's down to six. And I think that's my turn. Yep. So ready up all cards. I want Felicia out for as long as possible. And we're drawing five. So we have Swinging Web Kick. We have another Enhanced Spider Sense. We have Aunt May, which can heal us for extra if we're in Peter's form. That's four. And then five, Jessica Jones. We didn't get to see her actually be out on the table last time. So it might be quite nice to do that this time. Uh, I'll come around the other side of the camera and block the light slightly to do the villain turn. One threat on the main scheme. Done. He's attacking me for two plus. Oh, I'm kind of glad this was drawn as an attack card, but he's hitting for four, which is pretty nasty. Uh, I'm going to defend, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to defend. So I'm going to block three and take one. That puts us down to seven. We are going to have to use that Ant-May card next round, unfortunately. And then the encounter card, which I may have to cancel. It's treachery. It is an attachment. It's Rhino's armoured suit. When any amount of damage would be dealt to Rhino, place it here instead. If there's at least five damage here, discard the suit. He's powered up his suit of armour. Okay, so that's another problem to deal with. He's got five ablative health, basically. And now I'm going to have to find a way to deal with that and also heal. So... Let's try and have a good turn. Let's tap the overly shiny Avengers Mansion draw card, see if that changes my options. For justice. Hmm, remove three threat from a scheme, or four threat if you paid using a genius resource. Interesting, I think that's for next turn. So, we're going to flip down to Peter this turn. We're still tapped though. And we're going to uh, use the power of justice, it counts as two if you're paying for a yellow card. For Jessica Jones, we're also going to take one off of Web Shooters to count as a wild card resource. That means that Jessica is on the field. So there we are, and I used that card as well. So that's out of there. I want to use Aunt May, that's going to mean spending one. So we're going to have to get rid of Swinging Web Kick and pay for the one to put Aunt May into play. As long as we're an Alter Ego, we can exhaust Aunt May to heal four damage from Peter. So we're healing four. Although we're actually only getting three, because that takes them to go health. It's far from where you can't go over your starting health. If that is wrong, let me know. Is there anything else we can do? Uh, well, it's on to using our allies, I guess. I want to hold on to the two cards I have. If I desperately need to stop a treachery card, we can pay to use the Enhanced Spider Sense. Or ideally, we hold on to For Justice and use it in our next turn. So, Black Cat will do one damage and it gets done to the suit and Jessica she gets hit back no matter what she does she will thwart and she only she gets plus one for each side scheme in play there's none sadly so she's just gonna thwart for the one and take one damage and that is it I don't like that there's still three threat on there because Ryan was gonna scheme this turn but as I say hopefully we can do something about it the round after and I'm drawing three cards I have drawn Emergency, Webbed Up, and Daredevil. What does this do? When a villain schemes, reduce the amount of threat placed on the scheme by one. We might be about to use that right now, depending on what happens. Well, let's do the villain turn. So, one threat naturally. Rhino is scheming for one. <clears throat> he is scheming for two. Do I stop that? Well, I don't stop it, but yeah, I'm just going to play that to reduce it down to one more. So, one. Still scary, though. It's up to five, so I desperately need to do a big thwart turn, which is going to cost me an ally this next round, almost certainly. So, speaking of big thwart turns, I've thought of a way to make it happen. We're going to take one off of web shooters. There's still one left. That means I've generated a resource. That means if I get rid of my entire hand, the other three cards, I can play Daredevil. You can have a maximum of three allies in play, uh, but we're going to lose one of them in a second anyway. But that's going to put him into play, and that gives us more options. Uh, oh, I'm also going to just draw a card with Avengers Mansion, because why not? Heroic Intervention, fair enough. Uh, we are going to be in hero form this time, and I should have readied 
already, but hey. Have I been attacked yet? Have I been forgetting spider sense again? I don't think I've actually taken an attack yet because I cancelled it, which actually it might still trigger even on when I play the uh, the backflip to cancel it, so I probably should have procced that there. But I haven't actually been damaged by anything other than incidental damage, so hopefully that balances out. For this turn, Felicia is still just attacking because that means she doesn't take any damage back, so that is going to be... 2 damage on Rhino's extra armor. She's just keeping him busy while the rest of us are thwarting things. Pierce thwarting. 1 plus 1. So there goes 2. Then... Jessica can still take one more hit. <clears throat> uh, no, Daredevil's going to thwart. He thwarts for 2 base. So that comes down to just 1. Unfortunately, he does take damage. I'm going to have to come around here to grab a 1 damage counter. But when he thwarts, he deals 1 damage to an enemy. So that's 3 damage on Rhino's suit. That's pretty good. We haven't used Jessica yet. Uh, I'm going to have her attack. She's going to attack Rhino's suit. She does 2 damage when she attacks. That takes care of Rhino's power armor. Or whatever it is. And she's got one health left, so I might be about to use her to take the hit from Rhino's attack. So, I'm drawing four cards. One, two, three, four, because I had one left in my hand. Another for Justice, another Swinging Web Kick. Great responsibility in Swinging Web Kick, that's where they all were. I was wondering. Not a great hand, to be honest, except for the potential for Justice. Anything else I need to do? Nope, I think we're on to Villain turn, so... One... Threat, he's attacking, and I'm going to make Jessica take this for 2 plus nothing. So it is just 2 damage. Oh yeah, I forgot to ready up here in the mansion, but either way, Jessica's going away. For now, she might be back. I'm going to have to shuffle my deck very soon, so there's a very good chance of her coming back. And we'll move Daredevil along here, and an encounter card on Pierre. It is an attachment, charge. Attached to Rhino, forced interrupt. When Rhino attacks, the attack gains overkill. I believe that means if he kills an ally, the damage goes to you. Oh, yeah, it, it says uh, excess damage to an ally from this attack is dealt to the ally's controller. At the end of this attack, discard charge. So the next time he's attacking, he's hitting for a minimum of five, plus whatever the card boosts him by. Also, that card is upside down. And there we are. So that's going to be an exceptionally painful hit, so I'm going to have to have Peter defend this next round, I think, knowing that that attack is coming in. That is dangerous. Alright, let's see what options are open to us. Tap to draw, I think, oh, third last card. It is a surveillance team, that's good for getting rid of threat. So, hmm, we have a card, a handful of yellow cards, but I'm not sure what I want to do with them. We know this massive attack is coming in, and I don't have a backflip to just be like, oh, who cares? So that is rough. Uh, I could do enough damage to Rhino to get him to phase two, but I'd rather have to, like, deal with this first. So let's... We'll use up the last use on web shooters, so we have one wild card resource, and that puts that as a potential redraw as well. I wouldn't be surprised if there's at least one more of those in there, because I feel like I've only seen one so far. And I think there's three in the deck. So we have one resource already. Let's pay with a swinging web kick, because we certainly don't need two of them to get a second resource, to put a surveillance team down. So you put three tokens on it, you take away a token, and you remove one threat from a scheme. So I'm just going to put two on, because we're immediately removing one, <laughs> like that. We've got to keep the break-in controlled. After that, I am going to pay these two to equip another heroic intervention, intuition, sorry. It doesn't say you can't have more than one, so I hope that is allowed. So Peter is now at three thwart, which is pretty good. All that's left in my hand is a swinging web kick, which I can't do much with. Peter is definitely defending on his turn because there's a lot of damage coming in. So uh, Felicia will attack for one, bringing Rhino down to five. Um, Daredevil's going to thwart just to remove that last threat there. When he thwarts, he deals one damage, which takes Rhino down to four, and he takes one damage. So he has one health left as well, so no matter which one of them gets hit, they're getting taken down. It's going to be Felicia. Um, I am going to have to shuffle my deck though because I have to draw four cards and yeah, there's only two. One of these is a web sure. Yep, I knew it. 
and spider tracker. So I still have to draw two more, but I'm just going to cut out me shuffling this thoroughly. And we're back with deck shuffled. We have ourselves energy, and we have ourselves enhanced spider sense. I was hoping for a backflip, but what can you do? All right, so one threat on the main thing. Rhino is attacking. I'm having Black Cat take the one damage she has left. So it's five plus... Oh, good grief. That is seven damage. It comes back down to six after annihilating Black Cat. Peter defends for three and brings it down to three damage. Could certainly be worse, but that is scary damage. So he's down to seven. Uh, we're probably going to have to spend a turn as Peter just to use Aunt May. Uh, she, yeah, she doesn't get discarded. She just gets exhausted, right? Yeah, okay, so she do, we can just keep using her to heal. All right, um, charge goes away after that, and then we do an encounter card. Oh, does that overkill damage count as attacking me? Would that trigger spider sense? When the villain initiates an attack against you, no, because it was initiated against Black Cat and it just overkilled, so I'm going to presume spider sense does not kick in there. Treachery, explosion, when revealed a bomb scare is in play, assign X damage counters, it's not in, so we just surge. I'll draw another one then rather than cancel that. There might be a much worse one to cancel. Treachery, when revealed the villain schemes. I'm okay with that, because our scheme is good. Or rather, our thwart is good. So one plus two, and I'm also glad we don't have to deal with that. So that is three, which does mean we're going to have to deal with that, but that's okay. Uh, Oh no, I, I don't ready that up because I defended, that's right. I should have readied Avengers Mansion, like that. So this is an interesting situation because I definitely can get Rhino down like very soon, but I wouldn't mind having another ally out first. Anyway, let's see our options. We have Avenger Mansion. Spider Tracker, that's, that's only useful if there's a minion, and the one minion we've ever seen, the Hydra Bomber, died pretty quick. So, well... We're going to take one off of Surveillance Team, it's got one token left, and with that we're going to get rid of one threat. Because Peter has already defended, so he can't ready up. He is going to go down to his Peter Parker side, we're going to tap Ant Me for healing, and we're back up to ten. That means the villain is going to scheme this turn, which is not good. Anyway, I'm trying to find the zero on his health dial, there it is, ten health, good. What else can I do about that? Uh, I can get rid of the treachery card, but I can't do anything about the thwart, so Daredevil is going to have to, unfortunately. Which sucks. Well, we can still play other stuff, though. We will get rid of a spider tracker, since there's no minion out to make use of it, and it does only go on a minion, to pay for another web shooter. Already covered what that does. We have another one out, and it has three tokens on it. I don't even think we need to spend one right now, because my hand is not particularly good. I, I, again, I could absolutely just web kick him and get him down to phase two if I wanted to. But let me just remind myself, it immediately puts that double treachery card thing in play and his attack goes up by one. Hmm. His scheming, does his, his scheming doesn't go up by one though. Oh wait, no, I can't attack him this turn. I'm not in hero form, so it would have to be next turn. All right, uh, Daredevil will thwart for two. So he gets this down to one. He unfortunately gets taken out in the process. He deals one damage if he thwarts successfully. Rhino has three health left, but now Peter is all on his lonesome, and that is scary. And it also means during Rhino's turn he will be scheming. So we ready up, we ready up, we ready up. I have four cards in my hand. Wait, I'm allowed to discard. I'm going to discard Spider Tracker. I'm going to hold on to everything else. And we're on Peter's side, so I'm actually drawing three. A genius card. I've got a lot of energy and nothing to spend it on. Another web shooter. Haymaker. That's that's potentially good. Alright. Rhino's turn then. One threat. Automatically. And then he schemes for one plus one. So it puts another two on there. So I'll just take away one of the ones and put a three. So it's up to four of the seven required to win. Which is very scary, obviously. But again, we can thwart really well as Peter now with three off a turn so we're in an okay position so on that note I've, I've kind of moved the camera up so you can see the main board state I'll just tell you what I'm tapping down here because the line down here is getting a little ridiculous tapping Avengers Mansion to draw a card Mockingbird fantastic I'm using the last use on surveillance team so it's going in the dis going in the discard pile 
and that is one threat off of there. We're definitely having a Spider-Man kind of turn, and we want Mockingbird out for sure, so she needs three. Uh, we'll take one off of Web Shooters to cover one of the cost, and the other two can come from... doesn't really matter. Uh, the double energy with Thor on it. So that's a total of three. Mockingbird comes out, we've seen her already, and more importantly, she stuns an enemy. Get stunned. What else do we want to do in this turn? We are going to... Thwart is Peter, he's got two upgrades, so his Thwart is three. It clears that off completely. That is pretty good. And we're definitely in a good position to just, like, batter him <laughs> next turn. In fact, yeah, I've got a good turn here, because if we use Genius on Haymaker, we take out Rhino's remaining health, then we actually use Peter to thwart and clear the the thing that he brings back out in Phase 2. And I still have enough that I can cancel a bad interrupt if there's going to be a, a bad uh, treachery card, rather. In a, yeah, we've actually got a good setup here. For Mockingbird's turn, uh, she's not going to do anything. She doesn't need to. She's done enough by stunning Rhino. So I, I want her as is until he's in Phase 2. On that note, you still put one threat on the main scheme. He attempts to attack Peter. I presume because the attack isn't initiated, that doesn't trigger Spider-Sense either. But it does take away his stun, and then we resolve an encounter. And if it's a nasty treachery card, I'm going to cancel it. It is a treachery card. It's Oh, it's Thanos punching War Machine from Civil War 2. Uh, when revealed, discard an upgrade or support you control if no cards were discarded. So, a, a support or... Uh, I'm going to cancel that. I want my Aunt May. She's healing me. <laughs> so, we shall use Enhanced Spider Sense to make the text blank. And we're paying for it with the one resource from Swinging Web Kick. So, that's a blank card. Ner ner. And now, we move on to... Oh, we should have read it up again. I keep forgetting that part. Now we move on to attacking. So, tapping Avengers Mansion, drawing a card. Great responsibility. I've heard it comes with power or something. Then, we're going to do what I said. We're, we're going to pay for Haymaker with the Genius card, which gives you two resources. It costs two. Hero action, deal three damage to an enemy. Rhino has three health left, so he gets tapped down to zero. He flips to Rhino phase two. With 15 health, was it? Yep, 15 health. And that old card, the what's it called? Breaking and Taking, comes back out. Breaking and Taking. There it is, right there. So, it has three threat on it automatically, because it has two and then plus one per player. I'm not going to bother putting that on there, though, because I'm immediately getting rid of it by thwarting with Peter. One plus two upgrades. So, it's immediately going away. You will not put the evil of two encounter cards on me that ruined my game last time. I was prepared this time. As for what else to play... It looks like you can have multiple web shooters in play. It doesn't say you can only have one. So, I'm going to take <laughs> one off of the web shooters in play, leaving it with one, to count as the resource to play another web shooters in play. He has one on each wrist, so I'm sure that's fine. And I think that's my turn. So, we ready up Spider-Man, we ready up Avengers Mansion. Oh, I didn't do anything with Mockingbird. Do I want to do anything with Mockingbird? Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm about to make her take a hit from Rhino, so sure, let's have her thwart to remove the one that's on there. I'm just going to hold it in my hand, though, because it's, it's immediately going back on, because we're doing Rhino's turn. Rhino is attacking for five damage. Yeah, that'll get her. <laughs> you sure showed her. So that is Mockingbird out of there. No overkill on that one, thankfully. And then we resolve a card against Peter. Oh, it's a minion. Guard, while this minion is engaged with you, you cannot attack the villain. And as I say, I think you're supposed to attack with them instantly when they come out. So one damage and that's it just one damage we'll take the one damage so that's a new wrinkle I have to deal with him I also totally forgot to draw a new hand of cards before handling the villains turn there but I am drawing them because otherwise we're gonna be in a lot of bother so we need 
four of them because I had one left in my hand. I was hoping for a spider tracker so we'd at least finally get to see it do something, but sadly not. So, Avengers Mansion tapped for emergency. So that just reduces some threat gain. That's we might just spend that. And we've got this Hydra Mercenary to deal with. He has three health. I actually don't think I can take him out this turn. Now, what is the exact wording? You can't attack the villain, but that doesn't say you can't play cards on the villain. So, okay, so I'm going to remove one from each of my web shooters to count as two resources. That discards one of them because it's run out of markers. The other one has two left. So that's two resources. And then I'm going to use the Hulk card that gives you two strength icons to play webbed up on Rhino. It's not an attack. It just says attach to an enemy. When attached enemy would attack, discard this instead and then stun them. So it essentially buys you two turns. So let's just do that. Then I'm going to play Great Responsibility as a resource to put down Interrogate. After you defeat a minion, exhaust Interrogate to remove a threat from a scheme. So we'll hopefully see that in action once he's actually gone. I've got a backflip card left in my hand and the emergency card left in my hand. We haven't done anything with Peter yet, but he can't actually take out the mercenary in one go. He's about to ready up anyway, so sure, we'll attack for two. He's still alive on one. That ends my turn. Uh, we draw back up. I need three cards. Come on, give me a spider tracker so we can actually see it. Come on. Spider tracker. We still have one more chance with Avengers Mansion when we uh, when we roll back around to my turn. So, villain turn. One scheme on there. Rhino tries to attack. It procs webbed up. He is then stunned. The mercenary attacks for one plus nothing. So he's hitting for one. I'm just going to take the one. Then, treachery card, resolved on us. It's another mercenary. Well, ain't that a kick in the head. You never see a mercenary and it turns out it's because they're all on the bottom of the encounter deck. Fair enough. We start our turn by, of course, Avengers Mansion. See how the card is expensive to get out, but it is very handy. So we get a swinging web kick. That's a way to deal 8 damage at the cost of 3 resources. Now, how do I efficiently do this? We have Tenacity, which would cost 2 to apply. So I think I'm going to apply Tenacity as an upgrade. So we're going to spend these two resources. We still have Web Shooter, but I'm going to use that for something else, I think. So this is an upgrade. We can spend a physical resource to discard the card, and we re-ready our hero. So essentially it gives us a double turn with Peter. So that's what I'm looking for right now. We're going to immediately use it, essentially. Um, yeah, and I'm also going to pay with the swinging web kick we just drew from Avengers Mansion to pay the one for first aid just to heal two, just to get Peter back to full health, because Rhino can suddenly do a lot of damage in this form, just out of nowhere. So I want to have as much leeway as possible. So, Peter, he's going to tap to take out that Hydra Mercenary right there. After you defeat a minion, exhaust interrogation room to remove one threat from a scheme. So, unfortunately I can only do it once per round, but it's a little benefit from interrogation room. And we beat a mercenary, but unfortunately, cut off one head and another one takes its place. But, I'm going to get rid of tenacity to re-ready my hero. And we're going to pay for that with one on web shooters, and web shooters now just has one left. We're back, and we're immediately attacking again. Two damage to that mercenary. Unfortunately, again, not quite enough. Well, actually, maybe it's not a bad thing that it's not quite enough to take him out, because we're not getting attacked by Rhino this turn. And it means Interrogation Room has more time to proc. So I'm ending the turn with just backflip in my hand. We ready up, ready up, ready up, and draw four. One, two, three, four. Starting to feel the flow. Jessica's back in another interrogation room. Nick Fury, surveillance team, also really good to keep thwart or keep um, threat down. So, Rhino's turn. He can't attack. He is stunned. Oh, we put one threat on the main thing, though. Oh, I've been forgetting. When the mercenary attacks me, that should proc Spider Sense as well. So, yeah, I've been forgetting it again. I'm remembering this time. He is attacking me. I'm drawing a card because of Spider Sense. It was the Power of Justice. He's hitting me for one plus. That's three damage he's hitting me for. I'm going to backflip that. 
and take nothing. I finally used spider sense, and it was against the minion, not even the big band. And that is it, right? Put one threat on, he didn't attack, he did attack. Oh no, gotta resolve a card. I knew I was forgetting something. Oh, it's an attachment for Rhino, so he's going to do a really big hit. We've seen it already, and that is nasty. If there's no one to hit, that's six damage. See what I mean? Out of nowhere. We're going to have to get Jessica out to take this hit, or take some of this hit, I think. That's rough. Oh, it went a bit blurry there, but I fixed it now. Hopefully it wasn't like that for too long. Let's tap Avengers Mansion, see what other options we get. We get a webbed up. I was considering getting Nick Fury on the field, because if I do that I can draw three cards and Nick Fury goes away at the end of the round if he's alive anyway. So that would be a way for him to take three of the damage that Rhino's about to do and reduce my threat and also have a chance to maybe draw into another um, backflip. So unfortunately Jessica's going to have to sit this one out. Using the last uh, web sure proc, so that's gone. That's one energy, and then I'm spending Jessica, Interrogation Room, and Surveillance Team, so that's three. In fact, no, let's hold on to Jessica and instead use that webbed up as the fourth energy, because Nick doesn't care what type of energy it is. So it's a total of four. Nick Fury comes on the field, he has a bunch of abilities you can choose from, I am choosing to draw three cards. So, for justice, backflip. Excellent, that's what I needed, and great responsibility. All right. S pardon me. So, what will we do with this? Let's keep the threat down. So we'll pay the power of justice to do that for justice, and we'll remove up to three threat off of a scheme. We're going to hold on to Jessica because we don't need her immediately, so that zeroes out the main scheme, which is fine. Let's... Uh, I think I'm just going to hold on to the rest of my hand, yep, so prepare, we'll kill this Hydra minion, which means interrogation room procs, oh, but that removes one threat from a scheme, hang on, let me undo that, I don't need to do that, so I'm going to keep those two cards in my hand for now, never mind, so taking out that minion, because I can't do basic maths, it means there's one threat left on there, but I still have those two cards, which means... I will pay to put Jessica on the field by paying these two cards because the for just uh, the power of justice counts as two if you're paying for a yellow card. So Jessica is on the field. I'm going to move interrogation room out of line of sight because it's not a person. So we know Nick is going to be taking the damage from Rhino smacking. So let's just have Jessica and Peter attack Rhino. Yeah. So that's two damage. Two damage. That's four damage. So Rhino phase two is down to 11 health remaining. Jessica takes one incidental damage from that. Like that. And I'm ending my turn with those two cards in hand. We ready up. We ready up. We ready up. So Nick would go away at the end of the round if he's still on the table, just to be clear. So this is why he can take a hit. I uh, have to draw three cards. One, two, three. Leaving one left. That's awkward. The other power of justice, helicarrier, and enhanced spider sense, which might be very useful. So, one threat. Rhino is attacking for six. Seven damage. Good grief. Um, Nick is... I just realised, again, this is... I had the backflip in hand already, I'm not, I'm not thinking through the optimal turn here. I can negate all the damage, so why on earth would I not make Nick do something during his turn? So I'm going to say that I made Nick attack for two. I know I'm retconning slightly, but this is me learning the efficiency thing. So Rhino's got nine health, Nick would take one incidental, you know, incidental damage. I'm negating the seven damage Rhino is doing by backflipping out the way. Also, he attacked me, so I draw one card with spider sense. Haha, I remembered! Nick goes away at the end of the round anyway, because that's just what he does, and encounter card. It's Shocker! He is a criminal. When revealed, deal one damage to each hero. Well, that's rude. Oh, also, this goes away. Oh, did I put that in the wrong... I put the backflip in the wrong pile. There we go. Well, at least we have a named person, not just a generic Hydra goon. We've got Shocker to deal with, and he shocked me, all right. He shocked me for one damage. Shocked me to my core. That's very rude of him. But we have a good hand 
and a good situation. I'm going to have to shuffle the deck again, though. So we aren't fully done. I did forget a minion came out, so he should be attacking. So let's just do that now. He is hitting for two damage. So that is just going to hit me, unfortunately. So Peter's down to seven. I don't know if that warrants having a turn as Peter. You can choose when during your turn at which point you flip, though. So actually... Yeah, because we use Aunt May to heal. We don't use Peter's recovery skill, which is the what you can do on Alter Ego side. You can do their action to heal, but Aunt May actually negates the need for that. So we can do something as Spider-Man and then flip before ending our turn. That does mean scheming happens, so we should probably worry about the threat this turn. Okay, uh, right. Well, Avengers Mansion, first of all, now and forever. Web sure, very good card. On that note, I'm going to pay for putting that into play with the Helicarrier, which is just a generic basic card. So we have three tokens on web shooters. Dun, dun, dun. And let's see. Yeah, we can do something with this. So we'll use the Power of Justice for Justice again, that combo. But we're actually using it to remove up to three threat off of the main scheme because I want it zeroed out. I know I'm technically wasting one threat because it can do up to three, but we'll deal with that. And then the only other thing I can do is deal with Shocker. So Jessica and Peter both attacking him for a total of four damage, but he only has three health. Jessica takes one incidental damage as a result of attacking him. She has one health left. He is defeated. A minion got defeated, so we can tap Interrogation Room. Once again, I forgot, but it's fine. I'm not going to tap it. I'm fine with how it went out because both of them had to attack. So, whatever. And I don't think I can do anything else. Do I... Yeah, I'm going to flip down to Peter and tap Aunt May for four to get back up to ten health. Because as I say, I just keep expecting Rhino to suddenly do a billion damage, basically. He's going to scheme this turn, though. And that also means Jessica gets to hang around for one more turn. So, one... He schemes for one plus one. He schemes for two. So it's up to three. And then, oh, the last card in the deck is Treachery when revealed. I'm in Alter Ego form, so this card gains Surge, which means I'm going to need to shuffle the deck. But I think I'm actually just going to spend great responsibility on Enhanced Spider Sense to make the Treachery card do nothing. But stuff happens when the Treachery... Uh, when the encounter deck rather runs out of cards, I also forgot to draw a new hand. I should have drawn three cards. One, two, three, four, sorry, four, because I'm in Peter form. So when the encounter deck runs out, I believe you gain an uh, acceleration token, which means every time you do the basic uh, threat value at the top of the villain's turn, one extra goes on now. So I'm going to go double check that and also see what that text message was. And we'll be back with the encounter deck reshuffled as well. So I'm just shuffling the encounter deck. I had a quick look through the rulebook. I could not find the bit that says you gain an acceleration token if you shuffle this deck. But I am very sure when I've watched people play this, that's happened. I wonder is, if that's an expert mode thing, which is like hard mode, where you use a, a different tier of the final form of the boss and like it's just nastier. I don't see it. So if it is a rule, can you please point me to the page on the learn to play where it says it? At a glance, granted I was looking real quick because I don't want to forget what I'm doing in the game. If you could point me to where it says it, just so I could read it. So, so we're going to play on without the acceleration, just because I couldn't see it. I did see, however, though, when a minion comes out, it does not attack. It attacks normally when the villain does. So if it comes out after that, it's missed its opportunity for that round. So I've been making it a little bit harder on myself in that regard. So hopefully that balances out. Anyway, the deck is reshuffled. Everything can appear again. So... Tapping Avengers Mansion, drawing a card. It's an all webbed up. That would be pretty good timing for that, actually. Let's take one off of web shares. So we have one resource already. There is two more. And there is four. Or a total of four, I should say. So get webbed up, Rhino. Buy me some time. And of course I drew a spider tracker when there's no minions again. So we're definitely being a hero this round. So let's just flip already. And I'm just going to hold on to the two cards I have. Yeah. So, we have some time. So I'm going to thwart as Peter this round to get rid of that three. And Jessica... 
Did I just keep her out to take an attack eventually? Yeah, I think I'm gonna. So Jessica's not gonna do anything. And I've got two cards left in my hand, so we're drawing up three. One with a swing web kick, an emergency, and a swing web kick. Okay, fair enough. You're telling me I should kick Rhino in the face, is what I'm learning from what you're giving me. So Rhino tries to attack, he gets all webbed up, and as a result gets stunned. Apologies for the text message again, we're doing PC support on my failing technology. Encounter card resolved against Peter, who should have been readied up at the end of his turn there. Oh, would you look at that? It's an attachment. So Rhino is going to try and do... Oh, I wonder if that means the stun is going to absorb that really powerful attack. It must be, because he, he initiates the attack. So that is really, really good timing right there. I'll take that. Oh, I think we lost focus at the end of that clip there a little bit. I have, I've got to be constantly looking at that if I'm showing cards and then moving my hand away. Sometimes the autofocus kicks in. Uh, I think we can actually win this round. I'm, I'm pretty sure as long as we web kick and then just go all in on Rhino, we can actually get him. Because web kick does a ridiculous amount of damage. So we'll tap to draw a card anyway to have more options, because why not? Okay, fair enough. And then we shall... Yeah, if we do a web... It's eight da... Yeah, okay, I th we win. We we can't be stopped. We'll pay one on a web share for a free resource. We'll get rid of emergency and spider tracker, because hey, they do nothing. And that is... Also, I forgot to put one threat on for Rhino's turn there, didn't I? But as I say, it's not going to matter. There's eight damage. Smacking him in the face with... the Spider-Man's foot. That brings him down to one health remaining. Tap. Boom. That does two damage. He had one health left. But either way, before he gets to finish that charge, which he wouldn't have done anyway because he is stunned, we finally managed to beat the easiest available boss. Hurry! And also, even if there was meant to be an Accelerate token on there, it would have been, what, three? So it wouldn't have hit it or anything because it would have only happened right now. So that, if that was wrong, then it doesn't matter. I am glad I did another one and managed to beat Rhino this time. If you're curious, incidentally, for the expert mode, you would be using this version of Rhino, Rhino 3. He gets toughness, so he gets tough when he enters, and he stuns everyone when he appears in that form as well. And his base attack is a ridiculous 4. So that's for expert mode, though definitely a long way away from turn attack or that kind of thing. But I, I don't know how this did in the viewer verdict. I just wanted to play it at least one more time on camera to actually beat Rhino. So... I can't say whether or not there'll be a lot more because I haven't seen the reaction to it yet. Uh, in terms of what's in the core box though, you get a full deck for Captain Marvel, which I haven't ever used yet, haven't tried it. She uses a different aspect, so instead of yellow cards, she's aggression focused, I think, so it's a bunch of red cards, which are all focused on more damage than anything else. I think Spider-Man seems to be about control, really trying to keep everything kind of balanced. It's called Justice, but that's how it, the way it plays feels that way to me, along with his unique cards, obviously. In terms of other villains you get in the core box, you get Claw and you get Ultron in terms of full decks. So there is two other full ones, and you get the modular stuff. Like, you could technically do Rhino again and instead of including the Hydra minions and the bomb threat, which we didn't really get to see in full, but instead of that bomb threat, you could put in Modok as a side villain, or there's a few other modular basic things you could put in instead. That are in the core box as well so there is other options to vary up a little bit at least one more full hero deck to try out and it comes with partial well you get all the unique cards for three more heroes black panther she hulk and iron man but you need to use cards from spider-man and captain marvel's decks to fill them out and the basic cards as well but either way thank you for watching i'm glad i took down rhino this time spare a little bit of embarrassment hopefully more was done correctly as well i still think i forgot spider sense at least twice but that's okay. Thank you for watching if you did, though, and uh, see you in the future. Ta-ta for now.